this in the Bank of Uganda monetary statement, monetary policy statement for October 2021. The Bank of Uganda at the Monetary Policy Committee meeting, MPC meeting of October 2021, has decided to maintain the central bank rate at 6.5%. The second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic interrupted the recovery of the economy and the real GDP growth momentum is expected to have declined in the September 2021 quarter as a result of the COVID-19 related restrictions. Although by less than half, sorry, by less than the first national lockdown in the second quarter, 2020. With the ebbing of the second wave, a failed relaxation of the pandemic-related restrictions and improving vaccine coverage, economic activity is gradually normalizing. Indeed, the high-frequency indicators of economic activity for August and September 2021 suggest that the economy is pulling out of the COVID-19 second wave impact. However, some contact-dependent sectors that face the brunt of the pandemic will continue to face difficult conditions. The MPC noted that the virus continues to pose uncertainty in the near-term economic outlook. In addition, economic growth will depend on the release of pent-up demand, a boost to investment activity from the government's focus on infrastructure and support sectors that have been adversely affected by the pandemic as well as accommodative monetary conditions. Economic growth is projected in the range of 3.5 to 3.8 percent in the financial year uh, 2021 stroke 22. Slightly lower, uh, August 2021 round of forecast. However, as vaccination rates increase further and the health-related restrictions are eased, the economy is expected to bounce back strongly. Economic growth is projected at 5.5 to 6 percent in fiscal year 2022, stroke 2023, increasing to 6.5 to 7.5 percent in the medium term, which is two to three years ahead. A rebound of economic activity will be sustained by an acceleration in private consumption, strong growth in external demand, a gradual, a gradual return of tourism, and foreign and domestic private investment in the oil sector. The outlook remains overcast by the future path of the pandemic, especially a major mutation of the virus that could severely undermine vaccine effectiveness and delay both domestic and global economic recovery. Moreover, considerable uncertainty exists regarding the longer-run economic impact of the economic 19 pandemic. Furthermore, private sector credit extension 
remains sluggish due to perceived risk that continues to significantly impair private investment, comprising, compromising the quality of financial market information and lenders' ability to assess the viability of borrowers and investment projects. In addition to spillovers from the rising commodity prices, especially of crude oil and other inputs, global sub supply chain disruptions could restrain economic growth in the near term. This inflation has persisted since October 2020, in part reflecting spare capacity in the economy. Headline and core inflation averaged 2.3% and 3.1% respectively in the 12 months September 2021, which is below Bank of Uganda's medium-term target of 5%. On a monthly basis, the annual headline inflation is slightly higher to 2.2 percent in September 2021 from 1.9 percent in August 2021, in part reflecting an increase in food crop prices. However, core inflation remained unchanged at 2.2%, primarily due to a decrease in prices for services, even though goods inflation rose. Notwithstanding the COVID-19 related restrictions and the recent exchange rate depreciation pressures, inflation forecasts indicate that inflation will remain within the range of five and plus or minus three percent target. Inflation is projected to remain below target in the near term as the excess capacity continues to exert downward pressure on prices. In the medium term, as demand recovers with a full reopening of the economy, and the release of pent-up demand, inflation is forecast to rise and stabilize at around 5% target, contingent on the evolution of the pandemic and the efficacy of the vaccines. Uncertainty around the inflation projection remains high. Global producer prices and food price inflation have risen sharply in recent months and could persist. Additionally, international commodity prices, especially oil and other input prices, have been on an upward side since May 2020 and could rise beyond what the current projections assume. These developments could accentuate domestic cost pressures. Furthermore, the risk of currently elevated inflation in most of the advanced economies would necessitate an early exit from the accommodative monetary policies. The resultant heightened volatility in global financial markets could lead to capital outflow and exert a stronger weakening of the shearing while the economy is still at a relatively early stage of economic recovery. On the downside, a faster resolution of global supply chain disruptions, softer international commodity prices, and another round of good
food crop harvest could cause inflation to remain subdued. The MPC has assessed that inflation remains benign, that the risks to the economic growth, growth outlook are secured to the downside, and that the, there remains considerable excess capacity in the Ugandan economy. The MPC stressed that there is persistence of high uncertainty and the economic and financial conditions are expected to remain volatile in the short to medium term. Against this backdrop, the MPC judged that keeping the central bank rate unchanged at 6.5% would be consistent with meeting the inflation target of 5% sustainably in the medium term. The band on the central bank rate is also maintained at plus or minus two percentage points on the CBR and the margins on the discount rate and the bank rate have been kept unchanged at three and four percentage points on the CBR respectively. Consequently, the rediscount rate and the bank rate have been maintained at 9.5% and 10.5% respectively. The Bank of Uganda credit relief measures expired on September 30th, 2021. But the Bank of Uganda shall, on a case-by-case basis, continue with interventions for those sectors that remain under lockdown. Furthermore, the Bank of Uganda will maintain the COVID-19 liquidity assistance program, which we call CLAP in short, to ensure financial stability until the economic situation normalizes. This concludes the Bank of Uganda's monetary policy statement for October 2021. Thank you very much.